Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and hang on a second. Mmm. That one was for you, Marco Rubio. All right, today we're going to talk about ammo shortage or the ammo shortage solutions. Now, folks out there, they're like, they either say, I have a small amount of practice ammo, or perhaps you have a good amount of practice ammo, but you don't want to shoot it up. As a matter of fact, right now, uh, there are a lot of academies and professional schools. I've talked to some of the instructors and the managers of these schools, and they said that people are real leery about coming and taking training or going to a two or three day school because they don't want to spend all that ammo stash they've got. They don't want to use up that 500 or 800 round ammo stash on one school. And that's understandable. But shooting skills are perishable. They're physical skills and any physical skill is perishable. If you don't do it, you lose it or at least you lose some of that skill. So right now is not the time to stop shooting. We don't want to just stop shooting and, and sit on our stash of ammo because you know owning ammo and sitting on a stash of ammo doesn't give you skill and ability. You need to get out there and you need to actually shoot. But what we need to do today is we need to be smart shooters. We need to be intelligent shooters. And when we go to the range for a practice session, we want to have a plan. We want to have a very deliberate plan that we're going to make the most of every single piece of valuable ammunition that we've got. Well, here at Student of the Gun, we came up with a, a plan. Uh, during Season 1, we introduced it and we called it the One Box Workout. And what I did is I sat down and I said, all right, let's say I have one single box of uh, Winchester USA ammunition, those the white box Winchester, 50 rounds of 9 mil or 50 rounds of 45 or what have you. And how can we take that 50 rounds and make the absolute most of our time on the range? Well, we do that by taking it and breaking it down into individual steps or individual segments. And the one box workout is a baseline practice program to help you maintain skill. It's a skill maintenance drill, basically. Now, this is a short form video, and I don't have time in this video to break it down every single step in minute detail. But what you can do, and what we've done for you, if you go to studentofthegun.com, and you look over on the little uh, right hand side there, you'll see the sign up block for our uh, electronic newsletter. You sign up for the newsletter, we'll send you the one box workout detailed report and instructions for free, just because we like you. That's how nice we are. So go to studentofthegun.com, sign up for the newsletter, we'll send you the one box workout detailed report, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to make the most of your available time and ammunition. Now, recommended reading for this week comes from my good friend, Mr. Paul Howe. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Paul Howe uh, is a retired U.S. Army Master Sergeant. He was a Delta Force operator, and Paul Howe was there during the whole Mogadishu, Mogadishu easy for me to say, the Mogadishu shootout or what became known as Black Hawk Down. Now this book is called Leadership and Training for the Fight. You can get it from our Amazon link and we'll put that up for you so it's easy. Uh, Paul Howe has a, is a professional trainer. That's what he does for a living right now. He's got a school in Texas. Uh, I've been honored to attend Paul's school in Texas. He's got a lot of valuable insight and information to provide you. So if you're a dedicated student of the gun, you really should pick up this book, Leadership and Training for the Fight by Master Sergeant Retired Paul Howe. Check it out. And for everything student of the gun, you want to go to where? Studentofthegun.com.